Assassin's Creed is finally returning to its roots in the Siege of Paris. After a trip through Ireland, Eivor heads to Francia to face off with a king known as Charles the Fat. Charles assembles a powerful army in Francia with the goal of invading England, where Eivor has established a growing colony, Ravensthorpe. Our brave Viking is faced with no choice but to take on the king and protect his loved ones. The DLC is chock full of content, including two new sets of armor and two new types of weapons, one-handed swords, and size that you'll wield with both hands. That's not to mention three new skills, including one which allows you to attract a horde of rats and sick them on your enemies to reduce them to shreds. All of this new equipment will be highly useful in completing the missions that make up the story, and especially in facing the Bella Torres Dei, the king's elite agents, who you'll need to assassinate in order to gain access to the one, the only, Charles the Fat. And speaking of assassinations, those have undergone a major upgrade. You'll sometimes feel like you're playing a Hitman game since you'll need to find ways to stealthily approach your targets before taking them out. There are a variety of ways to carry out your assassinations. Some of those ways will only be available in certain conditions, like if you're wearing a very specific type of armor. It's up to you to select the best approach to take out your target. But don't forget that your decisions will have consequences on Ravensthorpe and Ivor's loved ones. During your quest, you'll have to help the rebels of Francia to fight the oppression established by the King Charles and carry out a variety of tasks. You'll choose your mission and the type of rebel support you want. That might include warriors who can fight by your side in close combat or archers who can battle your enemies from a distance. Each completed mission will earn you deniers, which will allow you to buy various improvements for the rebels and help you to achieve your upcoming objectives. By participating in these missions, you'll also be able to unlock a variety of cosmetic rewards as well as a totally new set of armor, the Reaper armor. The Siege of Paris is the second Assassin's Creed Valhalla extension and came out on August 12, 2021. So, will you try to bring peace through your wisdom by unifying the kingdoms of England and Francia? Or will you go as far as regicide to protect the ones you love? The choice is all yours.